case of the century. The thing that you just can't escape from. It's still here and it's getting crazier than ever. <laughs> Jubby Deb or Amber Turd? By the way, I filmed this live over at Twitch TV forward slash Oompa Live. My dog stepped on a bee. Objection relevance. I want to talk about the uh, the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. I know I made a video on it, but I feel like I haven't beat the dead horse quite enough. It's an article called Top Twitch Streamers Are Capitalizing on Depp v. Heard Trial Trauma. Are streamers capitalizing? I don't know if that's true or not, guys. Let's look on YouTube to see if they're if they're capitalizing on it. Because if you're doing it on Twitch, it doesn't count. You're only capitalizing on stuff that's on YouTube. This guy's really been hard on it. All right. He gets good views on this stuff, too. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, by the way, because it's like top news. Attention. You know, you kind of like you're, you're capitalizing off top news. Monster is attacking Bikini Bottom. It's literally <laughs> televised. They really don't like XQC, I think. He probably does have some pretty juicer takes, though, to be honest. Look at all these. There's quite a few of them. But basically, I saw this this morning and I was like, all right, I need to start capitalizing. I'm undercapitalizing on this situation, obviously. Would you stop subscribing to my channel? Jesus, I can't even hear myself. Think! Alt counter tears, smirk. I didn't realize they had like this. <laughs> oh my god. They're literally making it into like some kind of weird game. This shit is so insane, I cannot even fucking believe it. People think now that she snorted coke. People literally think that she was doing drug. <laughs> in the in the courtroom. Who would do drug in the courtroom? Amber just sniffs eat cat in the middle of her testimony. I love the Texas speech. She's checking the tissue. Why is she holding the tissue like that? looking around to see if she got away with it because she would definitely do that on it in a televised courtroom that doesn't really make any sense it definitely looks suspicious it doesn't make any sense let's checking the tissue enhanced section a6 now let's get a good look at you i don't really see how that's that so i don't have any tissues but i'm gonna try to do this so whenever i wipe my nose i like do this and then i just and then I like, I like dig it up in there and then I try to pull all the boogers and hair out of my nose and the dirt. Sometimes there's dirt in there. I don't know how it gets in there. But yeah, maybe she was sorting coke though. I don't know. Maybe we could just be like the TikTok comment section and just literally blindly believe every single thing we see that kind of looks a certain way. Probably peeper or chili to make herself cry. Why did I think it was a cake? People just think everything's a cake now. This is a stretch. Come on. <laughs> okay, finally. Maybe it was a bit of... <laughs> Dude, I love TikTok, bro. That's what I feel like this Amber Heard thing is. The, the whole case itself is a testament to where everyone's attention is now and how people act and how people see things over the last five years. There's also this. This one is very suspicious. And after you both, you know, just like that, that that's also seems quite believable, right guys? Yes! Right? Other normal people. Also, a lot of people are saying she doesn't cry either, but I've seen, I've seen like photos of her tears, very elegant photos in which she's perfectly posed too. It, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and see this again. She's got the, the thing on her face. She sees the camera. This, is this not edited? She's literally like, oh, oh, oh. right now on the court stand let me go ahead and snort some coke if she's that aware of of like cameras being on her i feel like that kind of eliminates the potential of her doing a line you know th this one seems for certainly very odd have you seen the clip where she flinched super hard when johnny was walking towards her as if he's gonna fly. in like in court tara flinches whenever i walk near her and i've never even beaten her once what did I try to, what did I like fake throw at you, Tara? It was like a, it was like a stuffed animal or something. You went, ah! It was really funny. I should have done it. Here's the clip of her acting scared. Like, this is so fake, dude. I mean, based on what I know, she wasn't abused to the, the extent that it seemed many years ago. The amount of abuse that you would have had to have dealt with in order for you to act scared in a courtroom surrounded by, you know, a judge, the magistrate, police. Murderers don't even act scared in court. Man, she ran away. She maybe shitted too, I don't know. I shitted in my pants. She might have pooped. That just, it's so dramatic. It's so dramatic, dude. It doesn't even seem human to me, really. They're literally suing each other for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> That's another just, what the fuck? I mean, that would make me angry if someone was suing me for a hundred million dollars. I might walk aggressively towards him in a court. All right, so the thumbnail of this one's really good. It's so stupid. 
Jar of cocaine crying emoji. Jar of dirt. It's because he's the pirate guy with a jar of dirt. Got it. Um, I didn't realize at the time, but I think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar, a jar of cocaine of out on the table. I, re I realized that sounds weird, but it's like a, an actual vintage jar of it. Of dirt. Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I Dude, got imagine a jar if of that dirt. was just his coke Can't jar. Get inside it. Enough. How? So that wasn't even real. Well, that's dumb. Also, how is that even? How can you even yell? How can you even? How can you even say that? Isn't that just speculation or hearsay or whatever? I don't know anything about the law, clearly, or logic or rationality. The rationality that they use to present a case to a jury. I don't understand how it works. If I was doing coke, though, it would definitely be out of a mason jar for sure. There was a. A uh, psychologist or a, I believe it's a psychologist, not a psychiatrist. Johnny had a, a psychologist that did an interview at his house. And then she tried to say that they, or the, the lawyer tried to say that Johnny Depp specifically gave her dinner to try to invalidate what she says. You had met with and had dinner and drinks with Mr. Depp, did you? I did not disclose that I was interviewed by the legal team, no. That psychologist did an analysis of Amber and found that she didn't have PTSD and also they concluded that she had a personality disorder. Histrionic personality disorder is sort of a overly dramatic presentation. We call this impressionistic speech. And a lot of the stuff that she like explains kind of fits along those lines. So it tends to be very flowery. It uses a lot of descriptive words like magical, wonderful. It felt like <laughs> absolute magic. And it can go on for quite some time and yet it really lacks any substance. So at the end, you're left wondering what was just said or what the answer is to the actual question. This is a video from Crimecast that says Amber Heard ruins her defense case and admits to writing the op-ed. That seems like it's pretty important in, in terms of the decision of what, what's going to happen with this. Let's see. I think we're all clear that the sole issue here is whether Amber Heard can be held liable to right. Mr. Depp for is it defamation liable? arising from the 2018 op-ed and the 2018 op-ed alone. And to establish that, Mr. Depp has to prove the following elements. The publication of the op-ed is libelous by Ms. Heard. Okay. Why are you here? I am here because my ex-husband is suing me. Uh, for an op-ed I wrote. Which is true. It doesn't really make any sense how any of this stuff is real. This has caused more waves in the Super Bowl. Literally everybody hates her. Is there any anybody at all? Like if you go to her Twitter, if you go to her here, I don't know if she just like heavily censors it or whatever, which probably that doesn't make any sense. You're not alone. We believe in you. See, it's like th this is the only place I've ever seen support for her, dude. <laughs> That's because it's Twitter. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Some crazy hashtag Amber Heard is a piece of shit or something like that was Amber Heard is a turd. I think hashtag Amber Heard is a turd was streaming today. There's so many conspiracy theories too. Amber Heard, Botox injections, filler bruising, example, not her injury. So does she have Botox injections? Bruising, but she, this bitch has been getting Robux injections. All right, has she been getting Robux injections or had she, did she get abused? We're gonna settle this right now. She's gotten cheek filler. Yeah, yeah, we see that, yeah. But she's probably gotten more than cheek filler, to be honest, she's an actor. I think the final leg of this whole thing should be held on Twitter though, for real. I think uh, Elon Musk should mediate, instead of having a judge, Elon Musk should mediate. It should be pro Amber versus pro Johnny and they should just battle each other and then mass report each other and whoever has the most accounts left by the end, I feel like that would be I feel like that would be the best. This is another one that I found quite interesting. Amber Heard claims she was severely beaten by Johnny Depp so much that she had broke a broken nose and now compared that to a real domestic violence victim. And th this is the, the day after it happened. She just went on James Corden, which that alone is enough for me to just throw her whole case under the bus and just declare her guilty. This just doesn't seem like generally honest behavior. I just don't like James Corden either. We should sue him for a hundred million dollars. This one fucked me up too, cause like I love Rihanna. Non-ironically, love Rihanna. Dr. Shannon Curry was spot on about Amber Heard. How can you go from crying, no tears, to smiling in a split second? I agree. Amber does have a lot of very strange instances of her just being like a an actor. It's so strange to me. Rihanna got beat by Chris Brown, and she, you know, wasn't around. It, it tr tr literally traumatized her. Do not like Chris Brown. He's a woman beater. And Amber Heard is just completely cool the next day after after being exposed to a woman beater. What's this? Rihanna didn't have amica cream. What's that mean? 
They said she used Amica cream to instantly heal her bruises. Her attorneys did. Are you familiar with Amica cream? Amica cream, Amica cream, Amica cream, Amica cream. What? Her attorneys are literally fools. There's no cream that does that. Her entire legal team is the reason I feel like, one of the reasons at least why this has gotten so out of hand because of how much insane shit that they say that's just like, whoa, you say what now? You posted a TikTok, Tara? Amber Heard's lawyer. Amber Heard's lawyer, what is this? Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's pretty funny, good. Good one, Tara. Good me. <laughs> Sucks though, dude. This whole thing sucks. Makes me sad. Makes me a little happy seeing how invested my mom is in it. She's very invested in this whole thing. So this is the Amica cream before and after. I don't always fake injuries, but when I do, I use Amica cream. Why is this on Know Your Me? What does this mean? Did my mom make this? Any other, I don't hesitate. I don't wait. I just, in my head, instantly think of... Kate Moss and the stairs, and I swung at him. And all of Admitted my to relationship to date. Yeah, I hate having to not believe somebody claiming abuse. Yeah, I know. That's like generally the rule, right? It, it's that's one of the very few things in which the burden of proof kind of just goes out the window in terms of justice. You're guilty until proven innocent. Imagine if this is how it started and she actually was abused. Imagine if she actually was abused. Not saying she wasn't. Just imagine if it was like flipped. This would be insane. I feel like this stuff just really shouldn't be televised, maybe. I really don't. I don't know. They're standing it. People are standing it. This person literally has a profile picture of a character. A character from this epic new TV show we're all watching. In their bio, it says, Turd Stain Destroyer. I assume that's Amber Turd. <laughs> it's insane. If you still believe the media, by the way, this person's profile picture is literally Johnny Depp. They made their surname Depp. This is wild. If you still believe the media, here's Amber Heard's photo and evidence, and here's what Dan Wooton at The Sun put on their front page. Well, The Sun isn't exactly a reliable, um, you know, publication, I wouldn't say. They believed in her innocence so much that they edited her photos. Johnny Depp deserved better. Yeah, they literally, like, added bruises to her face. This doesn't even look like anything, really. She looks kind of, kind of smooth in this one. New photos that Amber says prove Johnny was a serial abuser. Two free tickets to Legoland! What? This video is literally called Seven Times Amber Heard Lied Under Oath and Got Caught. Dude, <laughs> this is... How is this a thing? These are one step below MLG compilations from 2015. Can you generally describe for us what you remember about the, the marks you saw on Mr. Depp? Yes. What I noticed straight away was most of these marks and most- I love this guy, by the way, Malcolm Connolly. He's my favorite character in this whole play. All right, this whole entertainment thing. Did she Malcolm testify? She testified that she never hit him. Is that what happened? And then she admitted uh, to hitting him? If you look at that picture, like I said- yeah, He looks like he got On the left-hand side, wood. under his eye, there's a swelling. Right, and that's not pink eye. Although that, you know, that is a potential, given what we know. There, there's evidence for that to have happened. Poop has been in the bed before where he's been, where he's been sleeping. On the left-hand side of his nose, and under his left eye. And what do you interpret that swelling to be? So what, do I, what do I interpret it as? That's, uh, either he's, he's walked into a door. Or a door or has a door's walked, walked into, him. into him. I like that. Miss Heard told you that you vomit in your sleep a lot. Do you remember that recording? That's gross. Yes, I do. And what's your response to that? Beep, beep, boo. Objection relevance. When someone brings up the fact that you vomit in your sleep every night, Every night? Mm -hmm. Well, at first I think you'd be aware of it. I think it's probably a uh, an admission to, or like an insinuation of alcoholism and just being not in control of himself. He vomits in his sleep every night. And What's she writing down, also, you think? I think uh, the first thing that I would do is seek medical attention. I'd never vomited in my sleep every night. I... You don't vomit in your sleep every night? No, I fart a lot though. I did fart, and every time I'm accused of farting in my sleep a lot, I just <laughs> can shit myself right then and there on, on the spot.